the beginning part of this year, 2016, um, about two weeks into January, I was free of an addiction that I had. And about three weeks after that, uh, I quit smoking. Um, it, I obeyed the, the Lord's command to exit America, which we know today is Mystery Babylon. And um, about a week, almost less than a week after leaving, I quit smoking cigarettes. And uh, I thought I'd never, I thought I'd never quit smoking. I've been smoking for nine years, pack a day. Uh, any little stressful thing made me want to smoke more. But the Lord healed me, allowed me to quit completely. And I thank, thank God and my Lord Rael every day for this. It's uh, been so joyful to finally be free again. I kept, just before this, I, I kept asking or telling my 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 fiance that uh, I wonder what is what it would be like to to not smoke again. I can't even remember what it feels like to not smoke. You know, after quitting, I had to use some gum for to help with the the cravings. But uh, today, I don't even feel it. I feel no cravings. I need no gum. I need nothing to control it. And that's another miracle healing I've experienced. And I, I don't... Sometimes I feel I don't deserve these things, but uh, the Lord loves me. And the Lord will love you too, if you just obey Him. It's not going to lead you down a wrong path. Nobody ever said the good path is easy. You know, there's, um, scriptures say the road is wide towards destruction, but the, the good path is narrow. And there's lots of challenges in it, but uh, it's well worth it. I don't regret anything of it. It brought me here. Never in my wildest dreams would I have ever thought that I'd be in the Lord's service. Would I be humble enough that I'd be a clergy? Still feels surreal to me. And I love the Lord and I love God. And those are the, the first commandment. The second one is to love your neighbor. And I love everybody. I don't love there's nobody that I don't love. Many people have done done real bad things to me. And I don't feel any ill will towards them. They've helped me to grow and learn. Back in 2014, I believe, um, I was working the fair at my uh, at um, my town, and uh, I I just gotten to work, and I was sitting at a a uh, at the gate, and I had I'd known about the Lord for about a year now. And I, for uh, about a year or two, I have, uh, for about a year then, I had fallen away and uh, kind of did my own thing, was doing my own thing, and um, 
I forgot about my service to the Lord and I was uh, just doing what other people wanted me to do. Um, and about five miles down the road, a fire broke out. Um, it's called the King Fire, believe it or not. Because it happened on King's Road. Um, and it was pretty devastating. It was about 20,000 acres when all was said and done. Um, and the fire came almost to my mom's house where my family was I remember calling my mom every day and sometimes every hour trying to get an update make sure she was okay I uh you know them big bombers I don't know what they're called C-17, C-47s, whatever they, they flew right over my mom's house dumping retardant to try and save my mom's house and my mom's town um, right over I mean it was right there I remember praying you know please save my family please let nothing happen to my family but I knew I was in disobedience to the Lord um, I for a year I had known that smoking I would say it, smoking pot was wrong and uh, I still smoke then but um, today I'm clean praise God but uh, back then I was doing that and I was still in America and in the Lord's address he told, tells you leave America or suffer the same fate that will befall her and uh, that, you know, I'm in California. Ever since he returned, there's been a drought in California. And they're saying next year is when water is going to be gone. So, you know, I we didn't have any water. We didn't have, um, we couldn't do the things we're normally used to. Everything was dead around us. All the hills that are normally green were brown, dry, as a, as kindling, um, and it was just inevitable that a fire was going to break out, and we've actually had a couple fires break out while I was there, and, uh, one was a king fire, another one was uh, on the other side, um, and that was just as bad, um, and I knew these were signs to me of my disobedience. They were chastisements from the Lord to me, to uh, me and my wife, to me and my family, to heed his warning. Believe me, the Lord doesn't like to do this, but he will. Just as a father punishes his child when it's bad, so does the Lord, so does God. You have to learn. I mean... A father that loves his son is going to punish him if he does wrong. You think uh, somebody's not, you're not going to get punished for doing something wrong? If somebody loves you, I mean, honestly, if somebody doesn't love you, they're not going to say anything. They're just going to let you continue down this bad path. But if somebody loves you, they're going to try and correct you. And that's what the Lord was doing to me. And I feel grateful because it woke me up, you know, and told me I need to go. And that was um, 2014 to to the beginning of 2016. I had like three or four fires break out around my house. I had times when the electricity went out, when the heat was strongest, and these were all signs to me. Do I believe in God? 
the same way after learning the Lord's teachings. I will say this, growing up I knew there was certain things I knew inherently from the beginning that uh, I, I couldn't explain. I never opened the Bible, I didn't go to church. I didn't even, you know, the Lord hasn't returned when I'm young, and not his spirit. Um, but these are things I knew. And after coming to the realization that the Lord returned, and, and listening to the sermons, and listening to the teachings, and, and finding everything out, it actually made me believe in him stronger because these were teachings that were relevant to everything the teachings actually explain everything they're not like uh, you know white clouds and pearly gates you know I'm sorry that doesn't that's not realistic but um, the way the Lord explained it to and the way I've been researching everything uh, makes me believe in the Lord more, believe in God more, because everything I'm learning is based in truth, science. There's no difference between science and religion. Actually, science explains religion. And I, well, that's that's the greatest thing I think. I love about it is because you know it's the truth the truth is, you know the truth is like a lion set it free it'll defend itself you can't dispute scientific fact you can't dispute especially when that science coincides with teachings from the Bible it all makes sense when you get down to the core of it